Well, ladies and gentlemen, as Bunny says, welcome back for another edition of Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to resume our game. Okay, here we are. Back at 221B Baker Street. And... I don't remember what happens. <laughs> I don't remember what was going on. Okay, uh, that's alright. Oh, Catherine Eddowes, okay, and, um, oh, yes, we just found out that the, um, <clears throat> the organ sale going on, where, um, we realized that the crimes weren't being committed for, uh, organ sale, uh, Let's see. And, um, okay. Yes. So let's see. We had the end of it. Uh, we were just continuing the investigation. Um, but where were we off to? Uh, okay, I have written, uh, I'm just reading this. Find me a slaughterhouse that will give us exclusive use of its block for an hour. And find me, in your opinion, which common animals share the most characteristics with humans from a psychological point of view. Or pig. I don't even know why I asked that question. <laughs> Pray find a dozen fresh pig's heads, Watson. Not big not big heads. I prefer small ones. Sows. That's it, Watson. As soon as you've done that, let me know. I request that you search in Whitechapel. Who knows? Maybe you will learn something about where Dr. Tumblety may be hiding. There is also no shortage of slaughterhouses and pig heads pig's heads in those parts. Okay. So, I'm Dr. Watson, there's, uh, there's Sherlock Holmes, let's go find some pig heads. <laughs> okay, let's see here, clinic, cobbler shop, is there a butcher shop, pet shop, Bravo, Lucy's, body house, police station, okay, nope, nope, we'll go back. Um, let's see, London Hospital, Wharfdale Road, Bob's Bookstore, Central News Agency, that's about it really. Well, where did he say to go to? <laughs> You search in Whitechapel. Okay. Whitechapel. Well, let's look at Whitechapel. I guess the what the pet shop. Maybe they'll know. I assume. Okay. Well, we're after the pet shop to look for pigs' heads. What a ridiculous idea to have asked Holmes for something to do. Where on earth am I going to find what he wants? Perhaps that kind Lucy will be able to help him. Oh, Lucy. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, well, I guess we can ask Lucy instead. Uh, where am I? That shop. Oh, it's way down here. Let's go to Lucy's go to lodgings. Uh, 
Miss Bella's lodgings. Is that the um, boarding house or is that the brothel? It's not a boarding house, is it? Let me take a look here. It's a brothel, right? Ladies. No, it would be better not to insist. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I guess not. Whoa, what's up with this guy's leg? Oh, here we go. No, we wouldn't be here. Okay, so it is a bottle. Lucy's lodgings and take a left. That's Lucy's lodgings and then uh, take a right actually. Here we go. Down here. Hades. No, it would be better not to insist. Yeah, yeah. You're in a rush, my pretty. Come, I'll have you done so quickly you'll only oh, have time oh. to. Oh, no. <laughs> Good evening, go. Lucy. But. Is something wrong? Good evening, Dr. Watson. Yes, it's my uncle. He's no longer with us. Please accept my condolences, miss. Thank you, Doctor. Oh. But why are you here? Can I help you? Um, let's... My request first. may sound rather strange, but do you know if there is a butcher's or slaughterhouse in the area where pigs are killed. Uh, yes, Fletcher's the man. He was a regular client, owner of a little butcher's shop not far. But Miss Bella didn't want him to come, as long as he didn't treat his awful sickness. Can you point to his shop on my map? Certainly. Oh, thank you. Okay. Here we get the butcher's place. What's his awful sickness? What's that about? Do you know anything about the two latest murders? Oh, goodness me, no. All the girls in the neighborhood are terrified. Who will be next? That's what everyone is asking. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Lucy. Until next time, perhaps, Doctor. Should we go investigate the two murders? I mean... Okay, well, let's... The butcher shop, pet shop. Cobbler shop. I knew it. Okay. Uh, what is this? Donovan Brothers, noted host for paperbacks. Slomovich is the cobbler. Oh, so it's right behind me. Oh, well, here we are. Okay. It's that close to the uh, thing. All right, I wanted to go to the clinic so I could walk there. So I get an idea of where, where, where it is. Okay, next Fletcher. Where's your meat and poultry? Let's go. Ah, there's Fletcher's oh, butcher closed. shop. Closed due to illness. If the proprietor is ill, the butcher's block is probably not being used. Perhaps I can use it. Now, where could a sick butcher have got to? Well, obviously he went to the doctor right here. <coughs> yes, if Fletcher is ill, he should be here. Okay, um, let's talk to the doctor first. Good evening, Dr. Watson. Good evening, Dr. Gibbons. I have come to see you because I was wondering if, by any chance, you happen to have a patient by the name of Fletcher, a butcher, 
who would have relinquished his shop due to illness. An illness caught during nocturnal encounters, if you catch my drift. Fletcher is one of the regulars at the clinic. Mercury treatment against syphilis. A night with Venus, a lifetime with Mercury. Mercury. He left London a fortnight ago for the fresh country air. Why is he of interest to you? Oh, no reason. I'm more interested in using his shop, only for an hour or so. Would he have left his keys with family in the area? He has none left, but he must have left Hardiman, the cat's meat seller, to oversee his shop. They're in business. They're good friends. Do you know where he can be found? No, but wander around the neighbourhood and listen for his beep beeps. He often passes in front of the clinic. Besides... Okay... Hardiman, the cat food seller. I had to go. I bumped into him before. Yeah, oh, there's a it's woman. It's me that you're looking for, sweetheart. Um, actually, no. I am looking for the cat food seller, Hardiman. Hardiman? Poor Hardiman. It isn't quitting time for him yet. That gives me some time to wander the streets before he shows up and with him all the cats hereabouts. Mm. Do you know where he lives? Sure. And for a copper I might even tell you. Here are a few coins. You're too kind, Governor. Well, these days I knows that he lives with his mammy on Hanbury Street in the same place where Dark Annie bled to death. Okay, Henry Street. Why did you call him poor Hardiman? Bah! He's in grieving, of course. Just a few weeks ago, he lost his wife. And three months before that, his girl, poor fella. He was in tatters. He even came to cry on my shoulder, believe it or not. Okay. Well, I must leave. Why? I must go to Hanbury Street. Okay, where's Henry Street? Let's see here. Is this it down here? Or is it a street? I can't see what it's in. Oh, this is street too. Okay. Hey, Mary Street, huh? Are they really gonna make me walk around looking for it? Apparently, yes, they're going to. Oh, maybe it's down here. Nope. We're on a street. I wish I could just say the name of the street that I was. Okay. Well, apparently, we're looking for Hanbury Street. This is Whitechapel Street. Oh, okay. This is Whitechapel Street, the main thoroughfare here. Okay, I don't have my headphones on right at the moment, so I can't hear the beep beep. Okay. What's he doing? He looks suspicious. Yeah, try, Mister. On the best window washer in the area. Oh. I have no reason to go that way. Okay, I have no reason to go that way. <laughs> okay, looks like Hanbury Street is on the other end of town. Bucks Row. What street is this? Doesn't say. Say. Interesting. Okay. What street is this? Uh, oh, okay, that's not a street. Is 
this is still white travel straight, right? Okay. Let's see. Commercial street. I have no reason to go that no. way. Why don't you be all the way down near the police station? Okay. Batty Street. Let's look down here for a moment. Is it just Batty Street or is there more streets? Apparently it's just Batty Street. Nest, I know the street. On Burner Street, yep. Yeah. And Commercial Street, this is Police Station. I knew it. Commercial Street. I have no reason to go that way. Okay. Back of the map. Maybe it's a map of London. Maybe it's there. Wharfdale Road. Oh my god, it is on the map. Oh, okay. 29 Hambury Street. In which poor Annie Chapman was killed. Maybe. There we go. There he is. Beep, beep. Hello, are you Mr. Hardiman? That's me. Okay, let's ask him about Fletcher. I am Dr. Watson. I have come to see you about Fletcher's shop. I would like to use it for an hour or two, if you have the keys and your rates are reasonable. Do you want to operate on someone in the butchers? Not at all. One of my friends needs it to prepare pig's heads. Well, why not? Fletcher certainly wouldn't mind, but there's a problem. I know it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, what's the problem? A problem? How so? This morning, the neighbor above broke his key in the door. The old boy must have already had a drink. So? Well, I tried my best to unjam it with Fletcher's spare key, which is pretty thin, and bam, that one broke too. Hard luck. But if you have the end of the broken key, perhaps it can be fixed. It must still be upstairs. I didn't pick it up. Fletcher has a key too, so I didn't think it was a problem. Fancy, if I just had another key with a simpler blade, I could copy it. I'm great at odd jobs. Fine, I will try to find all of that. Well, see you later then. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Okay. Some track outside. Sorry about that noise. Oh, he said upstairs. We are upstairs. I have upstairs no reason to go that way. I have no reason to go that way. Okay. Not here, right? Yeah, he was talking about up here. Okay, that's the backyard. Wow, what a dump. Oh, no. But what a... Oh, how dreadful. What is it? What are these? Kebabs. The same as Hardiman's. So he prepares his meat uh -oh. here. Oh, what are these kebabs made out of? <laughs> Excess cat. <laughs> My word. These are innards. Mm -hmm. This bag contains butcher's equipment. Okay. It's, oh, here it is. Where can I find a key with a Where simpler blade? A key with a simpler blade. On a worthless or door, perhaps. Door, on a worthless door, perhaps. Well, 
Well, he said he could do something, right? If I had it. Where is he? Have you found everything I need to remake the key? Oh, okay, wait a minute. What did he say he needed? If I just had another key with a simpler blade. Alright, where am I supposed to get another key? Or... Hmm. Let's look at the butcher no shop reason first to go that way. You don't? Why in the Lord's name would I go there? Uh, oh, okay. Why shop? in the Lord's name would I go there? Why in the Okay. Bravo. Why in the Why Why in the Why in Why in Oh they don't want me oh they don't want me to leave London yet. Okay, alright. I have no reason Store? to Okay, there's no reason to go that way. I have no reason No reason to go that way. I have no reason to go Oh, okay. So, all right. Obviously, I'm doing it here. I have to find whatever I'm finding here. Who's this fellow? Tell me, is it? We don't much like people with your looks around here. Understood. Okay. I have no reason to go that way. All right, way. I can't go further this way. Is there another part of the key upstairs? Is that what was going on? I have no reason to go that well, way. Well, yeah, apparently. Because I can't go anywhere there. Alright, it must be up here. Yo oh, ho. Oh. This key was left inadvertently. Indeed, there is nothing terribly precious. Here we go. Got it. Thought so. Alright. Where are you, cat man? There you are. Have you found everything I need to remake the key? Yes, I do. Key. There you go. I think you'll manage with all of this. I'm sure I will, sir. It won't take me long. Okay. Say, I think there's some of your business upstairs. Oh, you're right. I ain't had the time to sort it out. Sometimes I'm in such a hurry to prepare my meat that I forget to clean up. But why do it in the stairwell? Awful bleeds bucket loads, they do, as you've seen. Now, why would I do that in my own lodgings? Ah, of course. Uh, but what about course, your poor neighbours? They owe it to me all the times I've helped them out. And I don't have a shop either. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. Say, you sell animal meat, isn't that right? Would you know where I could find a dozen small pig's heads? The guy who gets me my offal yeah. should have some. I'll pay your day's wages if you meet me at Fletcher's butcher shop in two hours with the pig's heads. Here's a little advance. I'll do my best, Doctor. All right. The caretaker of another building told us that the place where your mother lives has a reputation for facilitating prostitutes' activities. Is that true? Sure, the doors are never closed. They come through here like it's Paddington Station. By the way, I heard about your loss. My condolences. Ta, sir. I saw them die slow deaths. My little girl, her face was eaten by the disease. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend, and please forgive me for bringing up such painful memories. <gasps> Go, I must do my rounds, and I will look for what you've asked for. 
As for me, I will go and find Holmes, and we will go to the butchers together. Let's return to Fletcher's mm -hmm. butcher shop. Your heads are on the block inside. Say, you wouldn't be the same chap who bought my whole load the other day. It's possible, but if you want to continue to do business together, you mustn't speak of my presence in the area to anyone. Don't worry, my lord. I'll be as quiet as a church mouse. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Let's head inside, I guess. Hope. Oh, God. Will you explain the reason and rhyme behind this masquerade? Elementary, we shall conduct an experiment that will allow us to answer a simple question. Does the type of weapon used by the killer correspond to a specific profession? Okay. Are what are we Watson? doing, Holmes? We're experimenting, Watson. Let's, let's do it. And here are our sow's heads. Congratulations, Watson. You're welcome, Holmes, but what do you really want to do? Take up a collection? Okay. What's this about? This wheel is broken and prevents the door from sliding. There is nothing further to find in this room, Watson. However, I need some knives. Our only hope is behind this door. There is nothing further to find in this room, Watson. However, I need some knives. Our only hope is behind this door. This wheel is broken and prevents the door from sliding. Okay. There's plenty of equipment here. What's the problem? This Let's wheel is broken wheel. and prevents the door from sliding. Okay. Oh, I, I, need oh, I can use Okay. There we go. This wheel is broken and prevents the door from sliding. Okay. This wheel is broken and prevents the door oh. from sliding. Yeah. Um... This wheel is broken and prevents the door from sliding. Yes, I know. That's why I. I need something. I need something. Really? Okay. Well, here we go. There. This door is slightly here raised. This wheel Get is broken wheel. and prevents the door from sliding. There you go. Put the other wheel there. Get that wheel. No? Okay. Elementary. Here we go. While I prepare our experiment, could you find me two knives? A small one, somewhat larger than a pocket knife, with a large, sharp blade. We'll need it to separate the bones and to cut through the thick skins. Then find me a long knife that's at least 13 inches long, no shorter, that's sharp and has a thick blade. Fine, Holmes, but I'd like to tell you about Hardiman. Do you know that he prepares his kebabs himself and... That he owns butcher's tools and uses offal? That's obvious, Watson. Pray, take my magnifying glass and my rule and get started, Watson. Find me these two knives. Really? Okay. <clears throat> I'm off to find knives. Two knives. Well, apparently. So we got here. One has to be when you say thirteen inch. Large knife. That's thirteen inches. It's gotta be that one. Size thirteen inches. Okay, so that's that one. Let's take it. Well, maybe okay, let's check this one out. That's eleven. Size seven, seven. inches. Size eleven, 11 inches. Yeah, he said no less than 13 inches, so let's... Thanks to the magnifying glass. Hmm, large size. Hmm, okay, so how do I get a hold of it? Right. There we go. And the other one he wanted was a pocket knife? No, 
Holmes only needs two ouais. knives. No, Holmes only needs two knives. Could I put that knife back? Or... I can. Okay. So the pocket knife. What about this size? Let me see here. Let me look at these knives. Fragments of cartilage. Hmm. Large, Large size. size. Fragments of cartilage. Fragments of cartilage. Fragments of cut. Mm. Fragments of cartilage. Yeah. Okay. He said one that needs to cut through bone, right? So. Does this have cartilage on it? Yes, it does. Looks like it does. Fragments of cartilage. Okay, I'll take this one. Fragments of cartilage. Looks like get off the stupid magnifying glass. Thank you. Take that one, see how he does with that. Okay, let's go back. Okay. There you go, Holmes. Let's try this one first. Here are the knives you asked for. Be careful, they're awfully sharp. Holmes, I must say that this experiment is making me rather uneasy. Comparing animal heads to these poor women. You're right, Watson, but this somewhat shocking experiment may help to end this massacre and save other victims. You can be sure of that. Look, these pigs' heads are still bloody, which will suit our experiment perfectly. I have a pocket knife and a scalpel with me. With the two knives you just brought me, we have a similar array of weapons as those probably used by the killer. We saw three types of throat wounds on the deceased attributed to this man. Those intended to slit the throat, those intended to decapitate, and the more superficial yet mortal wound that led to the death of the unfortunate victim in Duckfield's yard, Miss Stride. With the help of these four knives, we are going to try to recreate these wounds on the pig's heads and see what we can establish about the weapon or weapons used. We may also be able to rule out Miss Stride as a victim of the killer of the other three. Okay. Presumably I got the right knife, <laughs> so... Um, okay. Well, before I start doing this... I'm going to, um, there's an axe there. I'm going to call it quits for this game, and then we'll get to these pig heads right afterwards. So, all right, thank you for joining me, Bunny says, and uh, join me again next time, and we slice up some sow heads with uh, some butcher's knives. So, thank you, and uh, goodbye for now.